it's just about six o'clock. I got up. I set my alarm for five, and then I sort of snoozed till about five thirty. Yeah, back twenty to thirty. If it gets snow, not like a lot, just a dusting. Um, but I wanted to take a look. Nope, I'm on the wrong side. Like, which side is my car on? Not this side. Um, anyway. So, yeah. I just thought I would start the day early today. Um, I am going to do something with my... I've showered and I'm dressed already. Um, I really like this sweater. I like the neckline of the sweater. I'm just not so sure about this part. But, it's fine. Um, I got it at Maurice's. So, this is... I'm not wearing flip-flops, y'all. I have a little booties I'll show you later, but anyway, this is what my outfit of the day is. And I am just going to put some dry shampoo in my hair and do something with it. I'm thinking a ponytail today or a little messy bun. I'm quite excited. Um, we're going to put some curls in, see what it looks like, and then I'll make a decision. I just have to laugh. I just looked out the window and said, well, of course it started snowing. Why wouldn't it? Because uh, there's no snow here. I thought I left the snow for a little bit. It's December. It's fine. But I need to, I'm going to leave. I'm going to, what time is it? 10 to 7, I'm going to get out of here um, early so that, where's my purse? Here. So that, um, in case the roads are slippery. I wanted to get in early. I have things to do, things to catch up from traveling yesterday. You know. So... Here's what I have to tell you. I was wrong. I am shade 202, not 203 in this. Not sure if I can return that to Target, but I'm going to try um, after work today. <clears throat> I made it work. It's fine, but it's definitely too dark for me, so I don't want to have to make it work all week long. You know, so we're just going to go with easy hoops today. These are my, if you guys haven't ever figured that out, I wear these ones all the time. I love the ones that, um, that Dee made for me. Oh, she, I just, some, these ones actually that I was wearing yesterday, she made. Let me flip them around the right way. I love them from, I'll, I'll list her website below. I love them. Um, but I travel, I try to travel no, then, with no more than a single pair of them. Because I'm afraid I'm going to lose them or something like I lost that one earring. So, I'm not really a person that loses or forgets things. However, you wouldn't think that based on the last 24 hours. Alright, so I'm going to go. I'm going to try to, I don't know, I'm driving an Impala this time. I don't know um, if I'll be able to, like, put the camera up. I've done that kind of sometimes before, put the camera on the dash and kind of show you some of the drive. But, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I, I feel like it's kind of a rounded dash that might not, might not work, but at any rate. Um, I was just going to show you guys the full outfit with my hair done and realize that I didn't change my shoes. All right, I'm just going to lie down here. Put some back on. So this is my outfit of the day. These leggings actually are from Target. I love the yummy ones. That's those are the ones I was wearing yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, from um, Nordstrom. These are I think the Avi and Anna or Avi or I don't know something. If I can find them, I'll link them below for you guys. But um, so yeah, I like how the sweater looks better with my hair down than up, and um, with makeup on. <laughs> you know, sometimes outfits just look better once you are like put together. So um, I used the Charlotte Tilbury face in a palette. And um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, the one in the, in the little skinny tube. So, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to throw the camera in, but I suspect you won't see me until after work because that's just how it goes. When all right, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> um, I did go shopping on my way home, <clears throat> on my way back home, on my way back. But I got to tell you guys, for reasons which I cannot explain, the, um, I'm trying to find this at you. The housekeeping people moved or changed the temperature to 60 degrees from 68. I mean, maybe it was warm when they were cleaning or something, and they didn't want to. Sorry, put my jacket on. And they were, I, I don't know, but they maybe should have kicked it back up to 68. It's freezing in here. 
This is the temperature I sleep at, not the temperature I sit around at. But I was going to show you guys. Okay. Um, let me make sure there isn't anything that fell out in my purse because I had stuff in there. So I went, the foundation that I bought last night, I am a dork. I am in the shade 202, not 203 in the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Having said that, I went in to Target to cheat, to exchange it, and the line was crazy at the exchange thing. It's like 20 people back. I was like, you know what? I'll find a friend to give this foundation to. It's okay. So uh, I realize I'm kind of giving you videos in a row with hauls, but whatever. It's fine, right? This vlogmas, it is what it is. I probably look like a hot mess. You know what? Let me just crank my hair up. Hold on. All right. Uh, I'm washing my hair tonight, so it, it. So I didn't love the Sony Cashmere brush for blush, brush for blush. And I thought, you know what? This is a good way for me to try some other brushes, and I can do a video on them, like a lot of you guys suggested. So I'm going to show you what I grabbed at Ulta. Uh, I had forgotten to think about bronzer. So I got this Real Techniques brush. It's the 201. It looks like it's pinched, so I'm going to see how I like that for bronzer. Um, this one is an e.l.f. brush. It looks like it's got a lot of give to it. I'm going to use this for blush. And then this I'm going to use for the liquid foundation. And what I ended up getting was the one, I really prefer this, you guys. This is the L'Oreal Freshwear in the shade 420, which is the shade that I am and they actually had in my shade. Then it's been so long since I've used this and I was, I have with me a dry bar, a little mini one that I used this morning. I didn't like it. I, I got it in a kit or something, so I went ahead and used it, but I didn't like it. And this was at the checkout. This is Sebastian Shaper Plus. I used to use this back in the day. Like, that was all I used forever before I did YouTube, before any of that. Um, and so I thought, you know what? I don't know. It was like $7. I just, you know, nostalgia, whatever. I've been looking for topless and barefoot for a long time for my toes. So that they happen to have that. I needed one of these anyway. And since I have luggage that I'm checking, I went ahead and picked it up. This is the hot off the press. I used the last of mine at home. So I got that. And then let me turn this around. Lastly, I keep switching out. I have a little mini wet brush that I was traveling with. And it just, I just didn't like it in my, you know, longer hair. So I've been, I had been just putting the one, my wet brush that I use at home in my travel, taking it out. And we all, and we all have seen how that doesn't work so well for me. So I just went ahead and grabbed one of these while I was there. This is a little bit different style than the one that I have. Let me show you the one I, oh no. <laughs> It's, I was going to show you, it's kind of, I hesitate to say gross, but it's kind of gross because it's been used forever. This one just has a different, it's super flexible and I really should eat my dinner before it's cold. And okay, you know what, just whatever, it's a brush. So this is the style that I had before. We're not getting a close up on that because it needs, I take the hair out of it regularly, but I can't ever get it super clean. If anybody has a suggestion on how to get all the other stuff, like the dust and stuff that's in the brush, or you know, like product, I would love to hear your suggestion. So anyway, this one is more like flexible. So I don't know, that's what I got. Then I went to Lane Bryant. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to eat my dinner and then I'll pull out the sweaters. I'm not going to try them on, but I'll pull out the sweaters that I bought. I'll lay them out and I'll show you guys. All right. So I'm going to put each sweater on and I will show you guys what I got. Um, so this one I saw in like a winter white as well, but I went in there looking for some sweaters that had some color to them because I look in my sweater chest and I have oatmeal and gray and black. I don't have a lot of color. Um, I have a coral, but not a lot. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so that's what I want to look for. This one has the, it's hard to tell because I'm holding the camera, but it has the um, kind of this boat neck, which I like, or ballet neck. I'm not sure which. Ballet, maybe. Um, and it's this beautiful color. I don't know what you would call it. Okay, and also right now, you guys, all of the everything in the store was buy one get one 75% off I don't know if that's online as well I will link everything that I can find for you guys if I can find it sometimes I can't find the stuff I find at store online so at any rate I love this it's very soft um, 
there were a couple other that were this, like there was well, one other that was this sort of color, different style, but it was not soft at all. Um, this is very soft. So I'm going to wear, I'm probably going to wear some of these this week. It's just because I'm not in the mood to wear the other things I got. So, all right, well, let me All right, this is the next one. And th it's going to be hard to tell. This is like a blue, black, heathered sort of. Um, and it's, this one is long enough. The other one you could wear with leggings too, I suppose. This one for sure is long enough. Let me see if it's around. So this one for sure is long enough to wear with leggings um, or really anything. And also very, very soft, not too thick, not too thin, really very pretty, I think. Anyway, um, and again, not black or gray or oatmeal. Okay, so this is the last one. It's an evergreen. I'm going to go in the bathroom so you can see the color a little bit better. It has this nice detail on the neck. This is probably more of a boat neck where that other one was like a scoop belly. You can see it kind of has that same sort of oblong, no oblong, like oval, I don't know, the shape. You can, the shape is what you can see. So it adds a little bit of interest. And this, it kind of, kind of comes up just a little bit on the hem there. So this I would not wear with leggings. I mean, I could, but I would prefer it and I will wear it with jeans when I wear it. Um, so let me just go in here, see if you guys can see the color a little bit better. Um, just a really pretty green. Works all winter long. Boy, I was thinking I might wear this, but it looks a little bit, it's a little bit wrinkly that I don't think I'll be able to get out. But so there is the last one. Um, and that is all that I got, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. Um, so I'm going to shower and then I will check back in with you guys for the last. All right, it is 8.30 and so we come to the end of Vlogmas, day four. I wonder if I said that wrong earlier today. Anyway, we come to the end of Vlogmas, day four. And um, this is what I do now. I don't think I said this before, but so I let my hair air dry as much as I can. Um, and then just before I go to sleep, then I French braid it. I just, at the end of the night, I just don't have it in me to round brush it. And my, my extensions, um, should have been moved up. They're supposed to be moved up every five to six weeks. I try to push it to seven to eight. Um, and my hair grows fairly fast, believe it or not. And so they're just a little bit sort of loosey goosey, which is what she calls it when, and so I, I hesitate to pull on it as much as I do when I'm, when I'm round brushing. So um, I'll show you in the morning. I let it, I mean, it's going to, it's not going to be as dry as it was the other day when I take it out. But uh, when the other day when I did it, what day was that? Sunday maybe. Um, I let it air dry for a good two hours maybe. And that's not happening tonight because it's already 8.30 before I put it in the French braid. And it was pretty much dry in the morning and all I had to do was just put some curls in it and it was fine. And it wasn't frizzy because I didn't like move all around on it when I was sleeping and I had it in the French braid. So tomorrow I will have to put a little effort into it with a hairdryer, but not as much as I would have. So anyway, I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you guys when I came back, but I don't remember what it is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to answer some comments. And I'm going to roll into bed here in about an hour and a half, hopefully, um, and start it all over again tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I know this is kind of more haul really than vlog, but what are you going to do when I'm traveling? Um, I'll fill you in on tomorrow and in the morning. I'll fill you in tomorrow because it's silly for me to fill you in today. All right, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.